Hi everyone. Today I will introduce our work on learning-based dimensionality reduction for computing compact and effective local feature descriptors. In many computer vision applications like visual localization and structure from motion, we need to store large amount of descriptors, which are very expensive. For example, the descriptors of a simple outdoor environment need several gigabytes storage space. In this work, we aim to decrease the dimension of descriptors such that more space can be saved. At the same time, the performance of the downstream task should not be decreased too much. To this end, in this paper, we propose and evaluate an MLP-based network for descriptor dimensionality reduction. We show its superiority over PCA on multiple descriptors in various tasks. We also demonstrate that the lighter descriptors by our supervised MLP projection achieve even better performance in downstream tasks than the original descriptors. Here is an illustration of our method. We first use feature extractors to extract descriptors for image patches. Then we pass the descriptor to a multi-layer perceptron to get lower dimensional descriptor. Our goal is to learn the multi-layer perceptro such that the lower dimensional descriptor is compact and performs well in downstream tasks. The first method we propose is unsupervised reduction. The encoder projects the input feature into lower dimensional embeddings, while the decoder reconstructs the original input from the lower dimensional embeddings. We apply the consistency constraints by minimizing the reconstruction loss between inputs and outputs. We also propose an additional distance loss which calculates the difference between the distance of the original high-dimensional descriptors and the distance of the lower-dimensional descriptors in the embedding space. For self-supervised reduction, the main idea is to apply k-means clustering with descriptors and use the clustering assignments as pseudo-labels. Descriptors in the same cluster considered to have the same label. A classification layer is added during training to guide our MLPs learning to generate similar lower dimensional descriptors if their high dimensional ones have the same pseudo label. For supervised reduction, the main idea is to learn an MLP based projection such that the distance between the anchor and positive descriptors is smaller than that between the anchor and negative descriptors with a margin in the lower dimensional embedding space. We use triplet margin loss for guidance. Here are some visual localization results on Arkan Day Night and in Lock Dataset. For all four descriptors, our MLP based method performs better in terms of visual localization than PCA and even the original descriptors for most queries and lower dimensions. This indicates that the learned lower dimensional descriptors are more distinctive and invariant under challenging environments, which improves the visual localization performance. Here are some visualization results. Our method can find more inlayers compared to the baseline. Here are the results on H patches dataset. This experiment shows more robotics applications using our dimensionality reduced features, including the patch pair verification, image matching, and patch retrieval tasks. Our methods with supervised and self-supervised learning schemes perform better than PCA and autoencoder for all three tasks and all lower dimensions with a large margin. Besides, we also observe that the 64-dimensional descriptors generated by our method even outperform the original 128-dimensional descriptors. In summary, we investigated an MLP-based network with unsupervised, self-supervised, and supervised learning schemes for dimensionality reduction of local feature descriptors. Our MLP-based projections work better than PCA in challenging tasks, including visual localization, patch verification, image matching, and patch retrieval for most cases. The 64-dimensional descriptors generated from learning-based projections even outperform the original 128-dimensional descriptors, which is very useful for real-world computer vision and robotics applications. Our code is available on GitHub. Thanks for listening.